Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your S3 bucket public. So by default, when you uh, put your uh, files into S3, it is uh, not public for security reasons. That means anyone cannot just access or get the files from uh, having the URL. So this is good for security reasons, but for some uh, cases, you need to have a uh, public bucket. That means where you are storing your publicly accessible assets. For example, images, JavaScript, files, CSS files, PDF files, video files, audio files, etc., etc. So if you wanted to store this and then uh, you wanted to make it public, so how you can do that? One way is you go through all of these files and make it public by clicking the public action. But that is tedious and uh, you have to do that when you upload new files as well. Another alternative is you make the bucket public by setting a bucket policy. And uh, the good thing is if you uh, set the bu bucket policy public, then all the images that is uploaded or all the assets objects that is uploaded to the S3 bucket will have public access. So let me show you how you can do that. So first we click the create button option, give it a bucket name. I click ACL enable. I'm going to uncheck this checkbox. Acknowledge this. So this will create the bucket, view details. Then I'm going to go to permissions where I'm going to set a bucket policy. So click edit. So this is the bucket policy that I'm going to set. Now I can copy the bucket policy from uh, a specific template like this one, which I have given here into my website. I will give the link of this block into the description of the video, which you can just copy this and use it as a default template. You want to paste it. And here, one that thing that you have to change is that bucket name. So just copy the bucket ARN from here and paste the value into this table. Remember at the end of this file, there should be a star. So you keep this as it is. That means only replace this part with ARN. So the rest of this star should stay. So if this is okay, you will see zero errors, zero warnings and save changes. It should save your bucket policy and we'll make the bucket public. So that's the bucket policy here. Now, if I upload any objects into this bucket, I will uh, be able to access it publicly. So for example, I'm just going to upload an image here. So let's go to uh, pictures and let's go to simple picture, uh, upload here. It is uploading and if I close this, I click details of that object and here is the object URL. Now, if I open this in a different browser like Microsoft Edge, then I should be able to do this. Let's go here, paste the object URL and press enter. So then I'm going to see the image directly. If I do not have any access or uh, do not have public access, then this should not be possible. I'm going to give you an example. So uh, let's delete the bucket policy. And then the policy is being deleted. Now um, the bucket is not public. And if I now refresh here, I should see the access denied. So I hope this helps you to get uh, started here. Uh, this will uh, help you to make buckets public and uh, store your uh, static assets in case. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.